Quick bowl. Maybe smoking, smoking tea. Next. Basically, what I do is I dunk all the tea out of my tea bags. We're going to be eating some our own bacteria. I think the most important addition to this one was the um the, the parsnip. <laughs> And the turnip and the radishes. As you can see, this is and the jalapenos and all of that jazz. Stinks terrible with nice to me. Feel it all the way down in your lungs. Making a gram last you. It's a bit about modulating of the receptors. Uh, because things like chili and stuff like that get you your heat sensors going, and so you can your system responds by making cannabinoid receptors to come to retrograde that, <laughs> you know. So so when you take your pot, so in a way, um, the bacteria, the acidophilus and all that. I don't know how many strains are in that. A few wild ones too that get furrowed on your teeth. They don't worry me lungs, but um, the bacteria, the chili, the radish, punish in radish. What? And, and parsnips and turnips, those terpenes. All induced cannabinoid receptors come out, especially in this format, in your lungs, especially. Oh, once that gets in your saliva, it goes straight down into your lungs, and you feel it. message received <coughs> right also today I quit ball I've learned this technique we're watching Bruce Lee he's he talks about whipping the dragon tail you know like basically you're not just throwing a punch you you actually and it's about flex flexing your bones and stuff I actually do flex my bones get down and actually flex my bones as much as I can. So you can do your legs like this. I'll show you. Roll, roll the sleeves up. Okay. Some flex in the bones because you can turn your, turn your limbs and become like compound compound bones. Like, you know, where it's you're not just hitting someone, you're actually putting flex in your bone and you're whipping them. Yeah.